Hi everyone and welcome to this course. Uh, if you are going to uh, learn Flutterflow and uh, even actually even if you have never thought of uh, building apps with Flutterflow or with whatever no code uh, you like, then you have come to the right place. In this course, I'm going to take you step by step from uh, someone who never thought of uh, building apps to someone who actually can make apps. Actually, uh, I will go with you step by step all the way to uh, building a fully functional app with all of the things that we are going to learn. So I will try to add a final project that will contain all of uh, the, the things that we have learned all, uh, all over this place. So uh, actually, if you are uh, going and if you are willing to learn Flutterflow, then you have come to the right place. This playlist is your full and free course that actually which in the i believe that it can be uh, very useful for beginners just like you and uh, actually without any further i do uh, let's jump into flood flow and see actually how we can build our own account and uh, actually we are going to do that for free so if you want to create your account uh, uh, go to the link in the description down below the first link click on that and you will be able to create your first account for free and if you have actually have created your account and you have you don't have uh, uh, any important projects inside that account then forget it and actually use my link in the description and create your new account so if, uh, by and by doing this you will support me and the channel so i can keep creating uh, more tutorials showing you and uh, going with you in depth with Flutterflow or inside Flutterflow. So for now let's get into it. So I will actually go to the dashboard. So actually I have already created my account. So if you have used the link in the description then you will be able to create your account for free. So and uh, once you have created your account you will uh, find yourself inside a dashboard like this. So uh, as a beginner you might not have any project for but for me I have the I have this project and I also have this test project so uh, uh, once you have cre created your account you can just come here uh, and click on create new enter the name of the app you want to build and uh, actually don't don't think of uh, choosing one of these templates because they are complex and they require you to know many things so uh, just cl click on create blank and uh, so I will try that so uh, and uh, actually they will ask you for some setups but uh, uh, just uh, forget all about that skip it for now and here you are you have created your first project and actually uh, once you have created your first project so now I don't want to go in details I just want to show you uh, how the interface looks like so you can have an idea of uh, how to use Flutterflow so uh, here we have the main page so uh, this is uh, the name of our project and this is the the first page of our app so let's uh, check a, a quick tour here so here we uh, we have what we call page selector so let's click on it and it will show you how many pages you have and sometimes it will show you also how many components you have but uh, we will take a look at components later on on this uh, in this course but for now let's take a look at uh, how things looks like so here we have pages we have folder and inside that folder we have the home page the home page is this page right here so for example if you want your app to have for example two pages a home page and another page of your own choice so you can come here click right click on that on this page and click on duplicate so now you will have uh, uh, two pages so you can just uh, double click on here and uh, actually call it whichever you want so now I have two pages but for now let's delete this click on delete page yes and you will have uh, your own uh, home page so so that's what we call a page selection so here we have widgets so the widgets actually are just the components of your app so any app uh, has uh, so if you have used an app before you will notice that it has come some uh, images buttons text containers and all of this stuff so we are going to take a quick uh, or a closer look at each one of them so uh, so let's keep looking at this interface so we have here what we call a widget tree a widget tree is just like a, 
uh, the structure of your app for example so uh, so let me show you what do I mean by the structure of your app so here we have the home page the home page is is uh, the four pages so you can see the, uh, the red outline that is outlining actually the, the, the full page and if I clicked on the app bar so you will notice that the red uh, outline is only outlining the app bar so that's what we call an app bar and below the app bar we have a column an empty column so we can for example add uh, an image inside this column we can also add a button and we can also add text so this uh, widget really shows you the structure of your app so uh, so from here you see that uh, your app or your page contains an app bar an image a button and uh, a text so the same here so uh, in inside your home page you have the app bar so which is this one and we ha you have a column or a vertical set of widgets so because these are vertical set of three widgets so you have the first one is the image which is the upper one uh, the button in the middle and the text uh, in the which is uh, the last one in the in the vertical set so that's what we call a widget tree so for now don't worry because uh, all I have uh, or all I want you to to know is just uh, how things work I don't want you to go in details because that's not uh, what we will see in, in this tutorial in this tutorial it, it is just uh, uh, taking a quick look at Flutterflow and we are going to get into details uh, uh, the more we go into this course so now let me delete this uh, image and button and actually I have deleted all the column so I will add this again so so we, we are back so uh, actually uh, we have here we have the, the, the database which is uh, not what uh, we're going to take a look now uh, at now so uh, here we have the settings so if you want to change the settings of your uh, of your app so you will go here so you will have the app details we have uh, the assets that we are going to add to our apps we have the nav bar the app bar so these are by default so you can change them the way you want and we ha are we have actually the firebase the languages so we have many things that we can play around with and uh, so that's it so now i will uh, actually go back to my project and uh, actually show you what uh, these icons actually mean so here as as i told you this is the full page so uh, since flutterflow is not uh, made only for uh, uh, mobile apps it it can also for example if you have built an app on mobile on mobile uh, devices then you might think of uh, building the same app but on desktop devices so that's why uh, they give you right here so here we have the a vision a vision is a phone or a vertical phone so we can uh, uh, turn it into a horizontal one so we uh, uh, the design changed so now instead of having a vertical phone we have a horizontal one so we can do the same for a tablet we can choose an iPad for example and uh, we can also do uh, so as I told you if you are going to build a desktop version of your app then you will have to use this uh, vision so you will start building your app as if it was for desktop using the desktop uh, uh, preview or screen so that's pretty much it so I will go back to my phone I will zoom in a little bit so here is how you can zoom in and zoom out and this icon right here is what will hide all of uh, this part here so if you want to keep building your app with flexibility uh, or if you want to just work with this part and you want to eliminate this part so you can have more space so you can click here to remove remove this part we we will need that uh, so we will keep it so we have uh, seen this we have seen a bit of this so what we still have to do is to understand what this means actually uh, if you if you for example you have built an app and you want to see how it works and if it works correctly or not so you will build your app and finally you will click on run so once you have clicked on run it will give you or it will show you how your app works if you have some logic some ui everything will show up when clicking on this run so if you don't want to see all the functionalities you, you just want to take a, a quick look at your app then you can click the preview and this button is uh, for example if you have built an app and you want to uh, make it available for other people then you can f easily click on this button so you can share it with people 
or with your team if you have one and finally for technical people and so uh, we have this code right here so we are going to choose view code and uh, actually they give you the code of this uh, of uh, this page so uh, because the uh, platform is not a no code the platform is a no code or a low code so if you want to do something that is custom that is uh, personalized so you might want to check uh, uh, some time and write some code and actually Flutterflow gives you this uh, feature so I believe you don't you can't find this in other no code tools that's what makes Flutterflow such a powerful tool. So now, uh, once I clicked on that, so it will it shows me that, uh, uh, or it shows me the 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 code of this layout. So we have here the scaffold. The scaffold is the whole page, and uh, as tiles we have the up bar. So this that's the up bar, and uh, it has a title. So we have so many things. So in the body we have the safe area, which is this one. And so we have meetings. So for people who are not technical, so just forget about it for now. So let's go back to our uh, page. So now, uh, what this means actually? Actually, all you have to care about is this one: is the bugs or the debugger. So uh, it shows you the, your project issues. For example, if you have a problem inside your app, and uh, uh, actually when you when you try to run it. So it will not run, it will show you a red number here. So it will show you that there is an error. And if there was a warning or something that you have forget to set up, so it will show you an orange number. So to show you that you have a warning or that you haven't uh, finished uh, set, setting up something or you have missed something. So uh, don't worry, it will show you everything here. So that's what makes Flutterflow such a powerful tool so if you are building your app and you forgot something uh, you were in such a hurry and you forgot something so it will show you everything here so actually I believe that uh, we have actually we still have to think or to take a look at only one thing before we finish this video so uh, here we have our our app so let's try drag something inside of it so we have a text so let's uh, actually play around with the, uh, let's try playing around with its properties. So, so whatever widget you add inside your app, it will has a set of properties that you can play with. So we, let's uh, try to uh, uh, change the text. So hello Mark. So we want to change uh, some of its properties. Let's change, for example, the font size. Let's make it 30. So, it, and uh, if I want to uh, take it away from this part, so we don't, I don't want to keep it in the corner. We want it to be, a, for example, right here. I want it to be right here. So I can go back and add a padding. A padding is a spacing. So if I add a padding on the top, let's say 20, so you will see that the padding I have added. And I can also do the same for the left side. And now it, it is away from the corner. So I can keep playing with them as many uh, properties and options as I want for whatever widget I have we, because we can't just do that for text, we can do that for, for example, for a button. So I will add a button, I will add the same uh, padding as I did for uh, my text. So, and I can change, uh, instead of uh, saying button, I will say for example, uh, click me. And uh, for the, I can change the, the font size of this text. I can make it churchy. And uh, actually, I can uh, change the color from uh, purple to, for example, to this red right here. So I can play and I can do whatever I want. So uh, keep in mind that whatever icon you drag and drop here, it will has, or it will have a set of uh, properties that you can play around and you can play with if you want. And actually that's pretty much it, so I hope you have uh, got uh, uh, an idea of how Flutterflow works, so I try to make it make things uh, easier and uh, faster. So uh, if you, for example, if you want to start building your apps and exploring some of these uh, uh, amazing and powerful widgets, so you will find that in the next episode, because there is where we are going to start the real work. Today was just an introduction, but the real work will start in the next episode. So now go ahead and watch it, subscribe and turn on the bell icon 
so you will be notified whenever I post something new and uh, all I can say now is thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.